So what's DOM? Let's try to define the term DOM. DOM is an application interface. An application interface helps to softwares to communicate or exchange data with each other. So using DOM, JavaScript can communicate with the HTML. So the DOM basically creates a communication channel for the HTML in the JavaScript. In addition, DOM provides a lot of methods and properties to manipulate the HTML. JavaScript uses DOM's methods and properties. So DOM is like a service provider. It doesn't do any manipulation. Manipulation is done by the JavaScript. JavaScript uses DOM's methods and properties to add, remove, and change the HTML. So via DOM, JavaScript gets access to the HTML. So now you know what is DOM. Move on to the next question. Where is DOM? DOM is in the browser. And let me show you how to find it. So here we have a web page, and this web page has a source code that you can see in the code editor. So this is our HTML document, but you can also call it source code. So to find the DOM, you need to open a dev tool. Right click somewhere on the page and then select inspect. Now in the dev tool, under the elements tab, you see the same document, the same code that we have in our code editor. So this document under the elements tab is DOM. The code in the DOM document is the same as editor, but the nature of the code is different. In the editor, we have source code. And here, we have document code. So whenever you run your source code in the browser, this DOM document is created. The browser creates the document. You don't need to do anything. So this is a DOM document and JavaScript has full access to this one. In other words, this is the document JavaScript manipulates. JavaScript, with the help of DOM's methods and properties, make changes in this document. All the changes appear immediately here on the web. For example, using this DOM document, I can change the text to something like this. And here you can see the change in the text. I can also apply CSS. So let me show you an example. So I put a background color and here you can see the change. Now remember one thing here. These changes are made in the DOM document, not in the source code. As you can see, our source code is intact. So the changes are not made in the source code. It's only here in the document. And that's why when we refresh the page, all the changes we made are gone. So the changes we make in the document are not consistent or permanent, but they can be made permanent using the DOM events. So that was a DOM document. Let's now learn DOM terminologies. DOM uses its own terminologies. The whole DOM document is gathered under a document object. So in the cancel tab, if I write a command document, then you will see the whole document page. As you can see the whole document, all the HTML is gathered under the document object. This DOM document can also be seen as DOM tree, just like you see in the picture, where the document is the first and the outer most element and the entire HTML is gathered under the document object. In a DOM tree, every element is called node. Node is an important term. So the elements in a DOM tree are called nodes, but it doesn't stop here. The text content of the element is also node. Even the attributes are also nodes in the DOM tree. In short, everything is a node in the DOM document. These nodes are also divided into different types. We have element nodes, we have text nodes, and attribute nodes. Element nodes represent HTML elements like HTML, body, div, paragraph, etc. Text nodes represent text content within HTML elements. 
like the text inside a paragraph or a heading, and the attribute nodes represent attributes of the HTML elements, like class and ID attributes. Document is also a node. It is called document node. Document node, as we have seen earlier, represents the entire HTML document. And there is only one document node for each HTML page. So these were the terms and terminologies that we use while working with the DOM. And now you are familiar with them. So in this lecture, you learned what is DOM, where is DOM, in DOM terminologies. And I believe it's now right time to move on to the next lecture. In the next lecture, you will learn DOM selection.